This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by ActionVFX.com. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from DoeMotions.com, and in this After Effects tutorial, we will create a glossy Christmas greeting animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. It's gonna be a super awesome tutorial covering a lot of different effects and techniques. So make sure you watch the complete video till the end, and I'm sure it will be super helpful to you. So without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. All right, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition called this render as our final render comp. For the width, I'll set this to 1920 and for the height, let's go with 1080, full HD, 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Hit OK. Let's create one more composition, which is going to be our logo placeholder. Here you can use any logo or any image, whatever that you want to use. So I'll call this logo slash text so you can also add a text or a logo whatever that you want to use and finally i'll create one more composition which is going to be a reflection comp i'm going to call this ref for reflection so first of all let's jump into our logo text and type in the text that we want so i'm going to type in merry christmas let's make this white and for the font i'm going to go with the matchmaker font i have mentioned link in the description so you can download the same exact font if you want to all right so this is looking pretty nice let's add our subtext so i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it so merry christmas and a happy new year All right, I'm going to make this a bit smaller, just like so and place it somewhere around there. So looking good. So our logo or text, whatever that you want to call it is ready. Now let's go ahead and create a reflection for our text, which is going to give that nice um, realism and shiny feel to it. So I am in the reflection comp and let's drag and drop in the image that I have right over here. I'm going to scale this down. And by the way, you can download the complete project file from the link in the description below. It's absolutely free. So we need to add quite a few of effects on this particular image to make it work. So first effect that I will be using is CC Repetile. So I'll go into effects and preset type in CC Repetile and this is going to help us to animate this image. So basically, if I go right here in the image, Hit P to bring down the position properties, create a keyframe. Let's go all the way up to 10 seconds. And let's say if I move this something like that, I want to increase the, I want to expand the right side of this image. So basically I'm going to go right here in the CC reptile and click on and select the expand right and increase this just like so. So I can set this to around maybe 2000. All right. And in the tiling, I'm going to set this from repeat to let's go with unfold so now you can see we have this very simple animation i think it's a bit too slow so maybe i can move this a bit more forward so like that i guess and increase this to around 3000 yep all right so that is okay we can change it later on if we need to the second effect that i will be adding is uh, going to be a tint so i'll go into effects and preset type in tint and let's add a tint let's bring down the tint to around 75 percent i don't want to keep it completely black and white i want it to be subtle um you know subtle colors maybe around 70 is good and finally i'll add a curves to this and let's punch up the contrast so i can just click and drag this so it's going to increase the contrast and as you can see we get more of that black and white contrast in the image and finally now it's a bit too sharp as you can see i want to add some fast blur to this so i'll go and type in a fast uh, blur you can add that and let's increase this to around um very subtle maybe around 10 so around 10 looks fine 
so there we have our reflection now i know it's not making sense at the moment but just wait just wait till we create the main reflection so let's jump into our render comp let me add the reflection composition and let's add a logo and the text composition on the top let's change the track mat of the reflection comp so hit f4 and change the track mat to alpha a mat so it looks something like this which is still weird i know but now i'm going to select the reflection composition go into effects and preset and add cc blobilize all right i'm going to double click to apply still it looks weird so let's go into the blobiness and set the blob layer from reference to our logo and text and now you can see we uh, you get the idea of what we are going right here you can see we get this really nice kind of a reflection that we have here pretty cool now let's change the property from lightness to alpha bring down the softness to nine that works pretty good and let's set the cutaway to around five so as you can see now it started to look very very nice so you can actually play around with the number of different settings you can play around with the softness you can keep it very tight if you want to so maybe something like around let's go with something like eight and you can play around with the cutaway so i can increase that and you know get the desired look but five works pretty good and i think it's looking pretty nice so you can see right off the bat we get this very cool kind of a reflection for our text now we need to make it that nice gold color that we have in the previous example that i showed you so to do that i'm going to go into effects and preset and add a curves to this and with this effect we will try to achieve the yellow color now one thing i forgot to mention is i want to go into the light property and set the light intensity all the way down to zero and increase the light height all the way up to 100 all right so now it looks much more realistic you can play around with the light intensity if you want to so maybe zero is a way too much low so i'll go something like 20 that is fine so now let's go into the curves and what i'm going to do first of all i'm going to set this to red and then let's drag this point all the way up just like so switch to green and let's increase the green point as well so something like that and then switch to blue and bring down the blues like so so it's a bit to gold so something like that and you can obviously anytime adjust the main rgb depending on the look and yep there we go i think it worked out pretty well really quick this time and as you can see we get this very nice gold look to our text which looks pretty nice all right also make sure you're working on 16 bits per channel if you want to change it you can hold alt and just click on this so it's going to switch from 8 bits to 16 bit so also now let's go ahead and animate this so what i'm going to do is hit f4 and make both the layers into 3d layer so now let's go ahead and create a new um camera 50 millimeters is good hit okay let's right click create a new null object as well and i'm going to align this into the center and now we can make this 3d and parent the camera to the null object and animate the null so i'm going to hit p and let's go to around maybe three seconds is fine um, create a keyframe on the position go back and let's scale it all the way up just like so all right i'm going to select the keyframes hit f9 go into the graph editor right click and select edit speed graph select this point and drag it to the left and this one as well just like so so now we have this very nice animation as you can see all right pretty good we can also go ahead and add some motion blur to this so it looks much nicer all right let's select everything hit ctrl shift c to precompose it call this animation and i'm gonna hit ok let's add a nice background to this so hit ctrl y to create a new solid call this bg for background hit ok drag it in the background go to effects and preset and let's add a four color gradient to this so we can nicely add some colors to this so i'm gonna select the yellow and copy paste this color code that i have you can use the same exact colors if you want i'm gonna hit okay let's select this one 
for all the other colors except i'm gonna make them a bit darker to get a little bit of variation in them so it looks something like that and i can just move this like so we can add some jitter of maybe 10 percent just to avoid any kind of color bendings and that looks good that is looking pretty good as you can see so i'm going to select the animation layer going to effects and preset and add some glow on this so let's uh, double click to apply the glow increase the radius really high and bring up the threshold just like so so around 90 would be a sweet spot and 1.5 of glow intensity and increase the radius to 200 so that is looking pretty nice as you can see and now one cool thing that we can do is duplicate this hit ctrl d select the second layer get rid of the glow and i'm gonna add cc radial blur on this all right and change the type from scratch to faded zoom or straight zoom i think it was straight zoom let's solo this up so we can just focus on this and let's increase this so yeah it was straight it was straight zoom i'm gonna unsolo this up so we get this really nice effect maybe i think it was fading zoom yeah fading zoom not straight zoom okay so as you can see it's looking pretty nice maybe i'll set this to 100 looks damn cool we can play around with the quality quality is 50 and i think um we don't need to increase this 50 is fine all right so let's go ahead and animate this so i'll go to three seconds select this hit t create a keyframe go at the very start and set this to and create a keyframe here as well and go to three seconds and set this to zero actually select the keyframes hit f9 graph editor and the same exact thing that we did before pretty easy peasy so you can see we have this very nice looking animation pretty nice maybe i'll increase this to four seconds because i think it looks pretty damn cool you can see it's pretty nice there we go now what i can do is add some elements to our background and give it a bit more professional and realism to the complete title animation so first thing that i'm going to use is some dust particles that i got from actionvfx.com and some fog footage as well that again again which i got from actionvfx.com now if you don't know about this website let me take a minute and tell you about them Action VFX, in my opinion, offers some of the highest quality action stock footage that you can find on the market at the moment. Anything from explosions, impacts, energy effects, particles, smoke, water splashes, blood, and so much more. They also have some free stuffs on their website that is worth checking it out so go ahead and check out actionvfx.com the link is in the description below they have a special black friday offer going on where you can download everything at a discounted price of flat 50 percent off so now let's go back to our main comp and in the background i'm gonna add this nice fog that we have hit f4 and change the blend mode to um it was screen and let's go in effects and preset and type in tint and let's add a nice tint on this and in the white color i'm gonna select the color from background so it's gonna add some nice redness to this and you can see we have this really nice fog in the background which is looking pretty cool and also i can add some dust on the top set the blending mode to screen again and then what i can do is again add a tint this time i'm gonna add this nice yellow color let's pick with this from the text itself and let's add a glow on this so let's type in glow double click to apply that up and set the glow intensity to 10 so really high and let's increase the radius now just let's solo this up so we can just focus on this let's bring down the threshold and increase the radius really nice and high something like this Bring down threshold like so trying to balance between them so basically we get this really nice um, glowing particles and that is what i'm going for so i can unsolo this up and you can see we get this really nice uh, particles if i just set this to full you can see the complete result maybe i can set this to around 30 and increase the radius a bit more all right so that is looking actually pretty cool now the 
animation can be a bit heavy as you can see because of the effects that we are using in such a way so let's go ahead and preview the complete animation so as you can see it's looking very nice very professional and i'm really loving the final result so that is all for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial we covered various different effects and various different techniques of creating those cool reflections as well so i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure you subscribe to the channel we are so close of reaching 300,000 subscribers which is absolutely mind blowing so please make it happen as soon as possible the aim is to reach 300 uh, 300,000 subscribers by the end of this year and i know we can make this happen also if you enjoyed this tutorial make sure you like the video and and comment down below which technique or which uh, type of tutorial you want me to cover next in my video so i'll see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out